Do you see this right here? Mm-hmm. Who's that? Who's that right there? Um, Who's it look like? Me? Kind of. That's Dad. My name is Lieutenant Commander Scott Ling. I was born in Kampuchea, Cambodia, and currently I'm a United States Naval Supply Corps officer. We left Cambodia, well, technically Thailand when I was about two. What I know comes from my mother and her stories that she tells me. We were in a slave labor camp. She was there for a total of four years. The Khmer Rouge, which is the, the communist Cambodian party, you know, pretty much ran tight ship. Everyone's at gunpoint. Everyone got up early and worked until they're exhausted in the evening. Bad situation. So she actually escaped the prison camp in the middle of the night. She was at the border and there's barbed wire fence everywhere. And my mom started digging a hole underneath the barbed wire fence. She got through, popped up on the other side. She grabbed me and stood up. She heard a click of a gun. She turned around and there's a young Thai guard. And my mom kind of begging, please says, you know, um, you can shoot me, but please don't shoot my son. Take him to America. I think it truly softened the heart of the Thai guard. Um, definitely illustrated the courage and compassion of my mother. And um, he put his gun down and he, you know, he said in Thai, he's like, go, go, go. And from that point on, we came to the United States and, and started our life. We came to California. We had just had the clothes on our back. We lived in a poor part of Orange County, California. And my mom worked a couple jobs and going to school full time. She never gave up, inspired us. This country has been truly great to my family and I. What's the best way can I, Scott Lang, give back to our country? I joined the United States Navy. The things that the United States Navy has afforded me just to see the world, that just changes a person, right? And how you view life and how you see other people and almost uh, sympathize with others or have more compassion because you might understand where they came from. The community around me, when they find out that I'm a service member, they go out of their ways, tell me and my family how much they're thankful, that they pray for us, wish the best for us. And that just, just adds on to the fact, you know, to, to my mission and why I signed up and why I serve. After retirement, when I get out, my calling is to, to go back to Cambodia. And I want to build schools and tell these kids and show them an example of, hey, you know, I was fortunate enough to have a wonderful mother to take me away to a place of opportunity. And I was able to do something with that. And even if, uh, if one Cambodian kid makes it out, it's a win. How lucky am I?